Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I package my candle orders for shipping. Um, so I'm just going to go through it and we're going to start at the top. So the first thing that I do um, is I go to my orders on my Etsy dashboard. I go to my orders on my Etsy dashboard and I just click right now I need to click them all all the ones that I have and I do more actions print orders I need to do packing slips and order receipts because I put the packing slips in my thing because I go through and I mark them off as I have them as I fill them out and so we're gonna print orders so that is going to print we're gonna make sure it's not double-sided because I get so annoyed when it's double-sided because I keep one half and I put it in a filing system that I haven't created yet much to Eric's chagrin um, <laughs> and so then as these orders print out what I'll do is I'll take a piece of paper like this grab a pen I've got pins all around me, so I don't know why I'm being picky with what type of pin I'm about to use. I just wanted it to be purple. <laughs> and I guess while that's printing, I could do that right here, too. As I'll go through and I'll write down all of the candles that I need to pull. And, of course, their size, because right now I offer two sizes, four ounces and eight ounces. Um, four, oh, I thought, I thought. Four ounce candles and eight ounce candles, of course, is, I mean, I'm thinking about making larger sizes. I really want to make larger sizes. I just don't know which type of jar I want to use because I know some of you would like to see larger sizes. I would, too. Yeah, a lot of different candles to pull. Did I say recommend eucalyptus guys? I don't know. This is why I write them down, I just pull as many as I need, and then I start to scratch them out as I go. Another fantasy and four. Another Baja cactus and four. Spice cider chestnut wax melts. And honeysuckle melt. here so now you can see I do everything in my small two-bedroom apartment actually my apartment's not that small that would be a lie my apartment's not that small but I do everything in my two-bedroom apartment so I really but I don't have that much space I don't know so my whole like candle empire <laughs> empire I'm claiming it <laughs> is right here right it's right it's right here essentially and then like a small section of my dining room table over there and so it's, it's like right on the other side of my can my my kitchen so you see like cookbooks and like my island and stuff so but now we've got our list and so and I have labeled a lot of these boxes with what candles are inside because I don't just have shelving right now but I will have shelving um, 
when we move into our new house so i am also getting ready to move um um so i will have shelving which will make this a lot prettier and less cardboard boxy but for right now we have to or i have to pull this whole list of candles and i'll put them up top here so that way then when i go through everybody's orders i'll be able to just grab them without having to go through boxes and boxes and boxes all the time also i've got a whole bunch of stuff because i just placed two huge orders so i've got a whole bunch of wax and a whole bunch of glass everywhere um so i'm even more cram packed than normal but luckily i'll be getting some of these out the door thanks to you guys and then we'll be able to go from there right right Let's do this. So, there's the fire. Thank you. <coughs> Let's at least put some of this wax up. We'll put that up there because that's where that goes. course to package them up this probably is gonna be a two-day video because I've got to do my Wednesday wind down tonight and I have to make at least I have to make a couple of candles real quick before that starts so um, I'll show you guys how I package them maybe tonight maybe tomorrow morning and how I ship them out okay um, so we're back hello <laughs> we're back on another day the next day and just got done walking the dogs. It's hot outside in Atlanta. It is hot outside. So now that I pulled all the candles, now I take all my order forms and I find their orders. <laughs> if that makes perfectly good sense. Um, I use boxes. I've got two different size boxes. I've got these, which are small boxes because I do rather small candles. I do four ounce and eight ounce candles. So this is great for like two four ounce candles they're five by four by four um i'll link everything down in the description box below i got them off of amazon and then i also have these which are 10 by seven by four um which is great for larger orders um so this first one 
This first one has only one four ounce candle in it. So this is great for this size. So I put it together, put my box together, become a master pro putting these boxes together. I guess I could bring you down some, huh? Lovely. Okay, yeah, so now we're here. <laughs> so I've got these. Make sure all my corners are down. And then what I do is I take packing peanuts. Um, so I take, when I was starting out, I used packing peanuts um, from like when I was making orders through Candle Science. I just saved them all. Um, so that way I didn't have to buy any. Um, so I save the packing peanuts when they come in through the orders, which helps. I layer the bottom of my box with packing peanuts. And so this order is a midnight mahogany in four ounces. So we'll find that candle that I pulled. I know I pulled it. So excuse my helpers. They're not good helpers. They're not good helpers at all. Um, so then I've got these foam sheets. Um, at first I ordered just like the sheets, they're like 12 by 12 sheets off the of Amazon, um, which worked out just fine. And I cut them into, into strips. That allows me to then wrap the candle up to keep it nice and safe during transport. Tape it together, boom, I put it in. This box is like broken, like the bottom half of it is just leaking packing peanuts. I put some more packing peanuts around it because I really don't want it to touch the sides. Try not to have your candles touch the sides. And on top, these are biodegradable packing peanuts, so they do decompose. This one is actually a gift for somebody. Um, oh, I've got two gifts. So let me cut this out. Hopefully I don't lose this. There we go. Don't lose that. Um, so this one is actually a gift for somebody. So I fold their little gift note. I slide their paper in here. I write who it's being shipped to on a post-it note. If my pen wants to work, which it doesn't. All right, who it's being shipped to on a post-it note, so that way when I do the shipping, um, I do their, all the shipping labels, I have their names, and I add in a thank you card, and I'm still waiting on my care cards to come in the mail. And then I slide it in and I make sure it doesn't shake or move anywhere, because that's definitely how your candles um, end up broken as if they shake, shake, shake about a little. And so then we move on to the next one. This one has, it's, a, it's my eight ounce candle bundle. This one is gonna need a big box. And it's four eight ounce candles. Layer the bottom with packing peanuts. Layer, 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 layer. Bop the dog in the head. Normally I have like <laughs> my like um thingy. So we've got coffee house, caramel, tobacco, library, and romance. Li romance, library. 
caramel and tobacco. This is like my last dyed candle because I don't dye candles anymore. Um, not because I don't not enjoy dyeing candles, um, dyeing my candles. It's I didn't like dealing with the inconsistencies of dyed candles. That was really messing with my brain, especially because like the nature of soy wax involves frosting. Um, which is like, which is this, um, where it just kind of changes colors a little bit. And it's, that's just, that's the nature of the wax. And so it's like, you can't do anything about it, but it just, it bothers me. <laughs> and so now I have a new foam roll. Great. That I can cut some sheets through. Cause these need to be a little bit bigger than the ones I just cut. And so I like doing the four ounce candles um, because I feel like it's a good way to try some scents, especially if you don't know if you like them um, or anything like that. Um, I feel like it's a good way to try them. It's a smaller. I don't know how long ago my battery died. I just looked up and it was dead. Um, but before it dies again, the last thing that I do is I have these stickers since they are just plain white corrugated boxes. And I put a sticker that has my logo on it on the top so that way it it just has you know a little extraness a little extraness but i'm going to continue to pack up orders and find a new battery for my camera okay thanks okay so my camera battery died and i don't know where my camera battery charger is right now so now that i've got a lot of the orders packaged up now it's time for me to do shipping um i like to use pirate ship personally that is where i like to do things from so i'm going to flip you around so you see all my stuff um so yeah so this is pirate ship you can import all your stuff directly from etsy um i will show you more in just a moment and so you go in and you've got your ad you got your address you can save packaging You've got a whole bunch of different, um, <laughs> as I screwed up, you've got a whole bunch of different ways to do it. So it's like, I don't use flat rate boxes. So I use the box or rigid. You can also use envelopes or padded envelopes. And then they also have the flat rate priority mail USPS boxes. Um, these boxes are free. To use so if you don't want to pay for boxes you can always get um, these flat rate boxes the priority mail boxes um, just they just the only reason I don't use them is because they don't fit they don't fit what I need enough so it doesn't work out and so then I use my kitchen scale that I use to measure and I put my box down use my kitchen scale I take the weight I put the weight in I put the weight in, I get rates, and then it tells me how much it's going to take to ship to where I'm going. I make sure my ship date is correct because USPS does not like it when um, the you have the wrong ship date. And so then I just click buy label. And so it tells, so you can see it's going from there to there. And then once I'm done with picking out what making all of my labels, then I'll go back in and print labels. Okay, so now that I've got all of my shipping inputted, input, yeah, I think that's right, inputted in, now I'm gonna go through, through Pirate Ship, and I am going to, what's it called? I'm gonna click all of the labels, I'm not left-handed, all the labels that I need to print, so that way then I can just do print 10 labels. And so um, I print mine on sticker paper. Um, on sticker paper that I have from online labels. I have the standard white matte sticker paper that I was using for other purposes. So I already had it. Um, so this is what I use currently. I am trying, I am trying to get a, um, I'm trying to get a 
actual label printer look at that like random hair hair is dry I'm trying to get an actual label printer so that way i won't have to do this step because it's kind of annoying hi pinster because it's kind of annoying to have to come back and forth um, from my office to everywhere. And so I actually ordered a um, Rolo label printer because it's got really good reviews. And, and so that's one I ordered. So hopefully I'll have that in a couple of weeks here. But for right now, I print them out two labels at a time. So I have ten labels right now. So that means five pieces of paper. So one... I found if I make sure they're separated, then they don't get like stuck in my printer. They don't get stuck in my printer. So that's always good. Okay, so I'm gonna put you down for a moment so I can put this in the printer. Sorry, my main computer, I mean my main camera, like I said, is dead. And I'm gonna have to find it. So now I'll print. I will make sure this is not on double sided good not on double sided bueno and so the best part is that pirate ship does go through with etsy um so it does import um into etsy so that means now everybody who has ordered a candle from me um has ordered a candle from me is getting shipping notifications they are getting their um what's it they're getting their I'm not trying to say they're tracking numbers and all that kind of stuff in their orders and so i am almost completely caught up on my orders which makes me super happy because it's my weekend to work so i'm trying to get all of these things done before i have to go to work um but i'm always so happy you guys are ordering because i have so many more things to what's it called to restock and that makes me so happy i've got like makeup smearing down my face guys i look like trash and i'm sorry um but it's studio vlog without a studio right um but basically this is how you can run your own business in your small cluttered apartment and so i just want to take you along um also, in these upcoming orders, I have these new little treats that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I'm going to finish doing this, and I'm going to print out more things, and I'll come back in just a moment. So then, after I printed out all your shipping labels, then I cut them out of their little thingy. I cut them out, and I put them on their box. So this is what I was mentioning earlier. I am doing these in some of the boxes um, right now they do not fit they do not fit in the small boxes so I'm sorry if you ordered anything that's coming in a small box they do not fit in there but it's just a little free thing of wax melts there are four cents in them um, I will be changing them up as we go or as as I go and they have a form connected to the QR code and it'd be wonderful if you would fill out the form and tell me which 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 of the scents you would like see that's a fully packaged box fully packaged down I'm gonna see if I can lay this in here and we'll see what we've got we'll see if it'll fit so one thing I definitely hate, I definitely hate um, when you order something online and then next thing you know you get a shipping notification or at least a tracking number and then you check for the next day or two and it really hasn't been shipped. And they really do that just so it makes their shipping numbers look like they're processing fast but it's not actually being shipped. So I hate that shit. Literally hate it because once I see a tracking number I am ready to like watch, 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 watch. Like for that number right so at least when i ship mine when you get a tracking number it's either going out that same day or the next morning a lot of times though it will have the shipping date on it so that way you do know that it will be shipped out the next day if it's not being shipped out that same day but for right now i'm gonna go ship out these orders i hope you like this video this is how i package up my orders and some little extra things that i'm starting to do with my orders so i hope you like this video guys um don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything follow me on all of the social medias i will also leave my candle instagram down below as well as my etsy shop down below so make sure you go check out those links so you can go check out the candles um and especially on a candle instagram that'll let you know what new scents are coming in all the time so 
that is it for me guys and until next time keep the spark